One day when the glory comes, it will be ours. It will be ours. Oh, one day when the war is won, we will be sure. Greetings, Yasharala. Shalom Haya Al Ata Ha Bashaya. Which means, um, peace be unto you, the elect. Yeah, the chosen and faithful. The rest of you, just sit back and let's do the work, okay? It's only 10,000 saints, you know, and we got a lot of work to do. You know, this work is not for everybody. As much as you see all the different camps and all the different denominations, It's not how it is, that's not a strategy because it's too much stuff. That's why there's so much confusion going on right now. Okay? So especially you women just going around. There's just so much of that stuff going on. You know, so I'm gonna deal with a few things today. Okay, um I'm so I don't go ahead of myself. I'll just go get what we need to get because there's so much teachings to get out. The whole doctrine. When so when when I bring out things like this, right? Understand I can teach, I am a teacher. But the main thing, I am more, I'm first a builder before a teacher. Very important to see that. So when I'm bringing, just like we see Shamazaya, that's why Shamazaya's script was very confusing to a lot of people. Because he was just building. He was building, he was bringing out things. You know, so that's exactly what I've been called to do. So I'll bring it out and eventually, most of the things I'm bringing out, you can build a whole curriculum on just one aspect of it. The main thing I'm straightening out the doctrines, you know, the underlying roots of the problem that we have as a nation of people. Okay. All right. So um, let me go straight into the topic that I have for today. I want to show you the spiritual significance of the United Kingdom and the United States, right? The topic today would be Zion is not physical. It's a spiritual house, a spiritual kahal, a spiritual bayat, ya. Just like um, Yaqabs saw a house going up to the Shamayam, a gateway for the Malak. Spiritual is a body of people with one heart and one soul spiritual so we'll deal with it but the, I'm gonna show you right now right Afrayam show you how important the United Kingdoms is that's why it's called the United Kingdom this is the prophecy in Azakai chapter 37 where the two sticks will become one and the two kingdoms will no longer be two kingdoms but one kingdom it's gonna start with the Kahal the 10,000 states that will be gathered in the streets in the streets of Stratford in the streets of London. Okay, so you're thinking, whoa, 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 show me that in the scriptures, man. You know, you can't be saying that, like, you know, the kingdoms will be gathered in Stratford. Stratford, you know, what? Are you being silly, fam? I'll show you, don't worry. We'll go for it step by step here for you. I'm here to bring out you the truth so we understand what's going on and how, how to prepare ourselves for the times that's coming ahead, okay? It's a lot of work to do and um, yeah, we'll go through it, 
I'll show you my I'll show you briefly my journey as well. So I know I said I'm gonna keep it concise, but I still need to I'll keep it as concise as I can, but I still need to flow with the spirit, okay? Right. How you guys feeling? Feeling alive? You're full of life. Let this word energize you. It says the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. You know, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the Father's mouth. You need to be excited about the word. You need to be hungry for the word, thirsty for righteousness. Let's do this, man. Yeah? Alright. So let's get straight into it. Alright, the word Britain itself. When you see the word Britain, Right, I'm gonna go straight into it. Let's go deep dive and you know, get ready, get ready to get saturated with the word. Okay, the word Britain itself, it comes from the word Iba, Iba. That's the root word, Britain, Iba, Britain, Iba, I B A, I B A R. That's where the corruption is, E B E R. But the original word is Iba, I B A R. That's where you get Hebrew from. A Hebrew man is called, uh, the Hebrew people are called Iba Ayam. We know Ayam, anything Ayam is plural, the people. Iba Ayam. Iba Yat, that's the Hebrew language. So Iba Return, that's just a corruption of the original word which was um, Iba. Iban uh, of the people, the Ebos, when during the time of uh, when Queen Isabel was chasing our people, the Moors, right, all over, and they settled in um, Gibraltar, you can see that in Babylon to Timbuktu, and all history, right, they, in this is during the time of 19, uh, 1492, this is the height of the transatlantic slave trade, they were being chased all over the place, right, they fled to a region in Gibraltar, and they're from there, eventually they lost their stronghold, and they fled into a region called San Sautón. And in that place now, that's in the way you know today as the Niger Delta region, they settled there and um, they, they were known as the Biafrans. So you can see all the older maps dating from that period, right? You see 1500s, 1600s, 1700s, the, the, um, the Biafrans, the Ebos, the Hebos. So when you see Britain, we were ruling all of the whole of. Uh, no, England. It was really the whole of France, England, Spain, Portugal. The word Moors is actually a French word meaning black. Okay, so I'm going to show you the significance now. You know, when you look at Britain, when you look at England, you see specifically with the places where the Moors worked, walked, and the prophecy and what's happening. Because the spirits are all around right now, they are awake, they're being resurrected. But you just don't see them because you don't understand you're too busy looking at the flesh the moors are awake right now it's time to gather the harvest is here so you need to understand the spiritual significance of that right and why certain places are so critical critical why certain places spiritually they adjust the heights and that's what it means we'll go into that i'm going to because my mind is working quick and i'm trying to bring out this word but i understand that all of you can't see as i see so i need to take it down a notch and build it up for you okay but this word is coming out for builders specifically for the elect it's not for everybody you're gonna have to you know if you can't if you don't understand it you need some milk there will be teachings where we can break it down and give you but this is for builders so they can understand and they can act accordingly okay we need to build a strategy and we're gonna look into all these words you know what they mean where did they come from what are the roots of these words and why it is crucially important at this time Okay, right. Um, the definitions now. Britain, from the root word Iba, right, where Hebrew comes from, like I stated earlier, and today they're known as the Ebos. Okay, so Ibo is actually closer to the original word Ibar than Hebo, which they called us the corruption in, during the time of slavery, right? But it all goes the Hebrews you see today is. Iba, okay, is the people like that come from Iba, that's what is specifically mentioned, okay, Iba being one of the sons of Sham, but the reason why it's specific that we are Hebrews, right, because Iba, um, Sham had other sons, Aram, 
where you get you know Aramaic Asha you know where you get your Assyrians from with, that's not our people regardless of whether they came from Sham same thing even with Eba you know Eba that's a specific um, seed line is with the sons of Abraham the sons of Isaac and the sons of Jacob that's why it's about Yasharala today very very important to see that okay right Iba Ayam Iba Yam right British itself Britain place of covenant the place of the covenant given um British ish when you put ish to a word it means a man there's a man of covenant Brit the man of covenant okay to today Isha you know Ish Isha okay obviously in the ancient Hebrews Ayash but most times when you're using the Yiddish because all of, obviously our language has been corrupted from for a long time okay so when you see Ish it's speaking about a man of covenant I'm trying to break it down for you so you can see the connection so we're gonna go even deeper now because you're saying, oh yeah, that's just, that's one aspect though. Because we know knowledge is covered the earth as water is covered the sea. So you could say that that's not actually what it is. It could be anything else. You know, that could just be your narrative, you know. But we'll build it according to the scriptures now. And we'll see, show you that this is where our people walked. We, Ebos, were the ones that built this. Okay, and we'll show you that the Gentiles here is not as significant okay obviously in the last days the house of Jacob will be a flame and the house of Esau will be a stubble all that stuff will get cleansed out but the Gentiles need to be here too embodied in one both Jews and Gentiles as one nation Yasharala so let's keep building this right so Yasharala are the great Brits why do I say that Yasharala are the great Brits, which I've established that Brits are the Ebos, the great Ebos. That's Yasharala. You could actually say the great Biafra. You see on my Facebook page, I changed my um, cover to great Biafra, the kingdom of Yasharala. Because obviously I don't understand something. So, it's better to use because for now we don't understand so that people can start to change their mindset because Britain and Biafra are the same the word Biafra, Bia in my tongue, in the Igbo tongue it means come Fra, Ephraim Ephraim is Yasharala, the firstborn which we'll go into so you can see it clearly so the great Brits, the great Biafra okay, with Igbo's this place, the Great Britain, this is our land. That's why the scripture says, as lightning flashes in the east and sets in the west, so will the Son of Man be. So we're too busy looking for physical Mount Zion, right, Mount Tazayawan, but it's not physical thing anymore. Spiritual, the kingdom is spiritual. The kingdom is within you. It doesn't come by observation. You're not going to say, oh, you're going to go there, you're going to go here. You're going to Israel, right? Now Israel is going to get destroyed. So it's like... Many of you that go to Israel, your hearts are completely a mess. The temple is you. Yasharala is not a location. It's an individual. It's a body of people. We're going to show you clearly like what's going on and you know the prophecies, okay? In the Valley of the Dry Bones. And that's exactly what is significant with the UK and East London specifically, which we'll deal with in a second, and also Birmingham, okay? That's the reason why the Most High led me to these two regions and I'll go through briefly my journey as well. So you see, like every single step that I take has been ordained and predestined and led by the Spirit. Anything, anything I do, I don't take anything I do for granted because the Spirit is guiding me. No matter what, me being here in this church, I don't take it for granted. And anywhere, anyone that I connect to, I don't take it for granted. Anyone that I don't connect to, I don't take it for granted neither. I don't force anything because the spirit guides me to all righteousness. Okay, so if if I cut you off, then you needed to get cut off. It's just as simple as that. I don't play games. You know, what I mean, I'm not here for sensation, especially you women. You know, I've got a rod for you. You know, I'm here to 
break you down a lot of you need a lesson on humility the way that you women are acting today is not a way of the uh, daughter of zion at all you don't have any understanding of the conduct of the daughter of zion so a lot of you need to be broken down your ego needs to be broken and crushed completely and you need to be dashed out of the window like yazabial was dashed out but first our men need to stop lusting after you harlots so that we can now start to fix and really rebuild our nation. A stupid woman on Facebook was asking me, because um, I put a post out and she was saying, what do you mean rebuild our women? I'm like, are you blind? What did you, like, it's like, even asking that question, are you trying to be silly? What's wrong with you women? All you know how to do is just argue and chat nonsense. That's not your role, that's not what you're supposed to do. The righteous woman will be given a platform to teach. But all you Yazabial just need to shut your damn mouths, man. Tired of seeing all of you on, on every single platform, on all social network media. What I'm building, I, there is no room for Yazabial at all. I sense a little bit of that rebellious spirit. I'm throwing you out of the window promptly. And I'm building soldiers that will do the same thing. If you're a weak-minded soldier, don't come around here. This is critical because... The way that the, the filth in our nation cannot continue anymore, not on my watch. If it's just me and my family are in order, that's cool. You know what I mean? But I would have order in the house. My job is to, be, is to cleanse the temple. Okay? Whoever has an ear, let them hear. It's not going to be like the time of Yachanan where he has a Baal cutting off the head of the prophet. It's not the time of Alaya where. Yazabel can do whatever she wanted to do. No, we deal with Yazabel like how Yaha deal with Yazabel, how Jay will deal with Yazabel, dash her out of the window. It ain't no time for games. This is exactly what our Hamashiach said in um, Revelation. Since I'm saying this, it must be one of you, Yazabel, probably watching this right now. You need to change your mind. Repent. What the Most High wants to require of is a humble, a meek and quiet spirit that's pleasing to our higher. Shamefacedness gentleness not adorn yourself with an outward appearance but a hidden man of the heart knowing what your role is and knowing how what your role is in building the kingdom that's where you start to renew your mind in um look at what our hamashiach said our hamashiach said in revelation chapter 2 verse 20 notwithstanding i have a few things against thee because thou sufferest that woman yazabial which calleth herself a prophetess no, you don't call yourself a prophetess. High ordains you. So most of you just want to rule over a man. So you can carry on bringing out your filth. And Yeshai ain't dealing with that. Yasharali ain't dealing with that at all. All of you going to be pushed out. All your filth going to be dis just pushed out. Given over to Satan. Do whatever. You want to be a harlot, be a harlot out outside, not in the temple. Um, which calls this of a prophet to teach? So you haven't even fixed up the issues in your soul, right? And you won't open your mouth and teach the word of the Most High. You have no fear of the Most High. A lot of you are just completely a mess. And then you want to, you, every opportunity you want to teach. You dumb. You need to stop that, man. I'm not playing games with none of you, man. Just like our Hamashiach said. Um, to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication. That's exactly what, that's why there's still so much filth in Yasharala. Because there's no fear of a high end of the temple. But not on my watch. If anyone, any of you watching right now, is you feel free to switch off right now. Feel free to block me. Get get go away. Cool. But don't bring your filth around me. That's what I'm saying. And to eat things sacrificed to idols. And I gave a space to repent of a fornication. I've given, I've been so patient with all of you. But time's up. It's time to build. None of that filth is going to be in the temple. Um, and she repented not most of you are not repentant Don't want to change and that's cool. You don't want to change your mindset cleave on to the philosophies and ideologies of the West stay with the Gentiles But don't try to come in and mix water into the wine Don't try to come in and claim to be righteous while you're still carrying all the filth that you're doing No, you're gonna get called out and I'm watching Behold, I will cast her into a bed 
and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation. The time of tribulation is coming, you will beg and no one will even give you an eye. No one will listen to you. No one's going to be watching your painting your face and revealing your body to try to seduce men because there's a new generation of kings right now that don't deal like that. Okay, now we know that you've adopted a pattern over time. That's what it means to be born again. Renew your mind. Start working towards, understand what your role is. Start to change your mindset. When those thoughts are coming, cast them down. There's, there's, a, there's a difference when you know you you want to repent and then you're given space to repent but most of you don't want to repent it gives you space to repent and you still don't want to repent you think you can bring those demons into the temple and create a, a, a environment where your demons can roam in not this time it's, it's not that time right now you know all right and then it says i will kill her children with death and the churches shall know the kahal shall know that i am he that searches the reins of the heart, Ahaya is dealing with your heart. So you can't claim to offer sacrifice unto Ahaya and your heart's a mess. Ahaya is the one that searches the reins of the heart. And I will give everyone according to their work. So you righteous woman, you righteous woman, like it says in Revelation chapter 12. You know, the temple, as the temple was open, there was a great wonder in the Shamayam. And a woman was clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, that has a bell under her feet. And a crown of 12 stars, righteous children, all this, as a balance, all the children are going to get killed. They're going to be cast into the tribulation and you're all going to get killed because you're not going to be able to come into the house. Because we don't know you. We don't, your spirit is foreign to us. When I see all you loud mouthed women, your spirit is foreign to me. That I have no issues with dashing you out. The woman was saying to me, oh, why are you disrespecting me? What do you expect a holler to be respected? The scripture calls her, is like a holler is nothing more than a dog. And spittle, you're disgusting, you're a disgrace to Riyasharala. So humble yourselves. Okay? I'm not gonna say it anymore. Okay, that needs to the need to come out. Okay, and while I brought it out like this now, if you feel oh he's a bit too hard and you know I can't endure the message, switch it off. Go look for a nice talking, you know, smooth talking prophet that will give you the words that will tickle your ears. Round here, we rebuke and reprove so that we can all keep righteousness. Like it says in Proverbs chapter 6 verse 23, The commandment is a lamp and the law is light. And reproofs of instructions are the ways of life. I'm building an army. Not building no weak soldiers. Okay, so we'll deal with that as we go into that. So that on that note, now we'll go into the topic. So I've said about building an army. So let's continue with this now. So I said... The great, the great Brits are the lion. The great lion, the great Brits, Yasharala. We are the great Brits. So when you see Great Britain, right, let's get it. Astronomy first. Okay, so that I can build it up so you can understand it clearly. So I said the great Brits are the great lion and with, with the strength of the ox, with the strength of the unicorn. Okay, so when you see what Britain, what's the coat of arms of Britain? You see the lion and you see they give you a white horse, white horse with a sharp horn. That's just a fairy tale, but they, that's just an illustration because you don't want to make it really obvious. You go to places like Birmingham, where I came from, right? In the UK, you can see, you see in the city center, clearly there's a white horse hidden. No, no, white horse, a white bull hidden because that word unicorn is actually a uruch, it's a, it's a bull, it's a six foot tall, strong bull. That in time of the, um, in, the, in Palestine at that time, they used to do a lot of work, you know, that's what say, it says in Proverbs chapter 14 verse 4, when it says, you know, where there is no ox, the crib is clean, but much strength comes through the ox. That's the bull. That's why you see the bull ring in um, the town center of Birmingham. And just right next to it, you see Moore Street Station. So we're going to go into that. Very, very significant. That's where the Moors were walking. The, the, the bulls. Okay? The builders, the work, workers. Okay? But now I want to show you, understand me, you want to give you an understanding of what that means prophetically. Um... And I'll post the 
like the white ball that I'm talking about so you can see it okay I took a picture of it I'm not sure white ball and there's the more obvious one the brown ball okay um, so you can see it but let's go through the prophecy in Deuteronomy first before I even say say that I just want to point out one thing first of all you see when you see in our language right you see that ah that ah beginnings right also the picture the visualization is a cattle or an ox ox head that's very important the ox head you see the beginning the ox head the beginning of the kingdom you see the end that that is a cross the end of Christianity the end of you know the pagan ways the end of Yahweh who is the light bearer that was cast down prophetic so the ox right that ox the number for it is actually a thousand a thousand of Manasseh ten thousand of Aphraim so let's now go into it Deuteronomy you can find out for yourself you know that's our language you need to understand you know our language is so whole is holistic you know it's compound it's not just you know the letters it's the spirit to it it's prophecy every word that the father speaks is eternal that's why our our, our Hayam is the Allah and the Da it's the beginning and the end Yasharala is the beginning and the end okay um, Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 17 his glory is the firstling of his bullock bull the first love is bull and his horns are like the horns of a unicorn like I said that word unicorn is um, is an uroch is an uroch so it has nothing to do with a horse it's actually um, a bull okay you can see that in um, Xenophon Bible Dictionary you know this is it's just that they don't put it they, what it is is they could destroy the mind of our people people don't check things out so all these things are traceable you can check everything anything out today but it's just you have a knowledge recession an information recession you know so there's so much knowledge that people are confused about things that's why you need the spirit the letter will kill but the spirit gives life so if you don't understand it's going to be with truth in your face and you won't even be able to get it Okay, that's why you need teachers, you need a real prophet that's filled with the spirit to be able to bring it out to you. Okay, most of the things I see I take from the Shamayam before even I find a way to build it here on earth. I'm not from here. But most of you cannot realize, you cannot recognize your king when you see him. It's the same thing, it's always been the case. You never recognize your prophets when they come to you. Okay, and that's why you treat your kings anyhow. You kill them eventually, you always kill the prophets. Right, um, his glory is the firstling of his bullock, and his horns are like the horns of an uroch, a unicorn, a bull. With them he shall push the people to get. Circumcise your heart, come closer, come closer. 